important to everyone mm -hmm. who has a teacher in his life. Okay. Um, as a service provider, you know that uh, we provide services such as insurance scheme that will help meet some of the welfare needs of groups of organizations like teachers. To start with, the welfare needs of the employee is the responsibility of the employer. But we'll also agree that the teachers are one of the largest groups that are being employed by government. Mm -hmm. And because of their numbers, we always have issues with um, ability to pay their premiums when any such thing comes up. But like I will always say, if you are a student and you decide to learn only what your teacher teaches you, because that is what he has taught you, the rest that he has not taught you, that one you will not learn. Yeah. You should remember that there is an external exam which is being set by somebody who doesn't know whether you have learned or not. Mm. So as teachers, and knowing the challenges of our country and our nation, it is important that we also see how best we can meet um, some of the welfare needs of ourselves. And so SIC Life Profit Wise to sit with some of the teacher unions mm -hmm. to come up with a scheme which was named VES SIC Life Group Scheme. Mm -hmm. What is this about? It's about the life of the teacher. It's about when the teacher is permanently incapacitated. It's about when the teacher is diagnosed of a critical illness. In all of these, when the teacher dies, we make a payment of 18,000 cities to the beneficiaries of the teacher. And when, unfortunately, he's permanently disabled, mm -hmm. we pay 18,000 cities to support the teacher. Okay. And when they are diagnosed of critical, any critical illness, mm -hmm. such as um, stroke, cancer, kidney or renal failure, heart attack, coma, paraplegia, deafness, loss of sight, coronary artery bypass surgery, major organ transplant, mm -hmm. and as major as disease. Any of these, if uh, the teacher, God forbid, should be diagnosed of them, mm -hmm. we will pay a 19,000, 9,000 to be sorry, to support the teacher's uh, medical bill. Okay. And how much will this cost? This will cost 10 Ghana cities. Um, so the teachers are to pay 10 Ghana CD monthly? Yes, sir. Okay. The teachers are to pay 10 Ghana CD every month. Mm. And then when you pay and um, God forbid any of these things should happen, mm. then we'll be able to also put in a claim and whatever is due you will be paid. So should Let nothing happen? That, should nothing happen? What happens to the money then? Yes, if nothing happens, we have put in a policy mm. that after three years of non-payment of a claim, three years, you will yes, okay. you'll be entitled to a 15% cashback. Mm. You'll be entitled to a 15% cashback. So is it more of an investment that at retirement you can go for the lump sum? If nothing happens, every no. three years you get an, uh, your 15%. Uh, this, this policy is not an investment policy. Okay. It's a pure life policy. Mm. The event has to occur so mm. that mm -hmm. the, 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 the claim will be made. Mm. But just in case it doesn't happen, which is what we all pray that it doesn't happen, mm -hmm. after three years, then we give you a cash back of 15%. Oh, okay. So um, if after, after the three years, uh, it, it, uh, you've waited again for the next three years, nothing happens, you still go for 15%? Exactly so. Oh, okay, okay, okay. okay. All right. Um, any other information on that? So that I, I, just, I just want to add that um, mm -hmm. ASAT 
October last year, mm. we had paid a claim totaling 600,000 Ghana cities. Wow. Yes, we paid 600,000 Ghana cities. And um, we did a public presentation of checks uh, two years ago at the mm. NAT Hall. Yeah, I was there. And, yeah. So um, the policy is, is live. The policy is active. Uh, I believe that there are concerns. And most of the concerns that have been raised have been taken care of. One of which is completion of a proposal form so that we'll be able to name our own beneficiaries. Mm. We have provided that. Okay. And okay. just to add, um, we are in a, a time of COVID and we don't want to have personal interaction with uh, people. Okay. So we have created an online form mm -hmm. where you go to www.jotform. J O T, J O T, form. That's an F O R M. F O R M. So yes. dot form. Dot com. Dot com. J O T form dot com. Yes. Slash S I C life. Mm. Slash G E S form. Okay. Okay. So you can go there, complete the form, you will receive it, and then we will forward it. For the deductions to take place. What about those who were earlier deducted? Yes, those who were earlier deducted, some have come for a refund. Okay. And so what is happening is that for those who have come for a refund, mm. um, if you have come for a refund and something should happen, mm. then it means that we, we, we cannot also assist you. And let me share this, this story. Um, there was a teacher who came to the office mm. and then he asked that we suspend his payment. Okay. And so uh, we suspended the payment and we do the refunds by mobile money. Mm -hmm. uh, the mobile money went, not knowing um, this man was having some Ill ailment. Okay. So unfortunately, he passed. Mm. But the money took a while. So the son who had his phone uh -huh. received the, the 30 CDs refund. Uh -huh. So the son called to find out whether um, his father had a policy and that the father has passed, and so he has anything to take from us. Okay. And we examined the message and told him that no, rather he came to suspend the payment, oh, and so oh, oh. we don't have him on cover. Mm. Um, there are a lot of stories like that. Mm, it, mm. it is not the best. Okay. I pray that we will all come together as mm. teacher unions from whichever body you belong to. Mm. Then I think, then um, I, think uh, I think uh, maybe after the, the show, we shall discuss more on how to get the teachers involved and uh, how best, they, because some are already on, but they've not filled the form. So we will look at how best they can also get involved. We have we have the um, the hard copy forms, but like I mentioned before, mm. of, the co uh, COVID, COVID so and yeah. are trying to distance ourselves from from the public. We have this online mm. so that people can go. But for those who also come to the office mm. and they they want to fill the form, mm -hmm. we give it to them and then they fill and leave it with us. All right. All so right. we encourage all teachers mm. to come on board. It's a good policy. It's a welfare package that will help us all mm. so that we'll continue to educate Ghanaians okay. as we should. All right. All right. Thank you very much. Um, let me get to Claudia. Hello. Uh, it's been a very, very, very busy morning. Um, and as I said, I have over 200 messages, uh, both on my phone. My phone has been freezed. Um, there is a call for a whole package for the discussion on collective agreement. I think it makes a lot of sense. Um, yeah. Yes, I think. And I'm getting messages I, from other lecturers, other tutors from colleges of education who want to be part of that discussion. Um, everybody wants to understand the agreement. So uh, I'll be speaking with my producers. We look at how we get a day for that so that we, we, we go deep into it. Interpretation over interpretation that every teacher will understand of over hundred of teachers watching us uh, getting more information on what to do the gstc policy i'm sure you you, you heard of it 
Yes, I, I did. I, I think it didn't start on a very good note because of the uh, way the deduction took place. That oh, okay, were not okay, okay. We were not involved. We just woke up one day and realized that a negotiation has gone ahead of us. And so there was no proper education. Yes, later the unions came back to us at the local level to tell us that they are still in talks with the SIC and mm. the, uh, uh, Mr. David here has clarified that. I think that now teachers are educated on it so well that they can take the process to go and do the registration themselves. They know the benefits that are in there for them. And mm. they can I actually that. witnessed some of the monies given out to some beneficiaries. I was there myself um, to witness most of them so uh, i think to a larger that, extent uh, that's great you yes. see the, the only thing that makes people agitate is when they don't understand yes when things true. are not explained to them very well mm. it, it was a bit um surprising that you you can just start deducting somebody's money that i'm doing insurance for you it even makes it suspicious Mm. Why not do it for parliamentarians, or don't they fall sick? So it, it always creates those suspicions in people. But once the education has gone down well, I know teacher unions at any local meeting sees the opportunity to talk to their teachers about it. And now the understanding is there. People take the bold steps to go and take care of their future. And that is great. I only had something to say about the laptop issue that mm -hmm. we just spoke about. Mm -hmm. The thirty percent. The vine is of the view that the thirty percent is okay since it's going to be a permanent property and asset yes. of the uh, teachers. What do you think about that? Yeah, I think it's it's great. Mm -hmm. It's it's great for that initiative to even come out in the first place. Okay. Because I I, I actually with the work I do on the field in the five areas. Mm -hmm. I felt the pandemic even widened the gap between the poor and the rich mm -hmm. further because you see them not having absolutely anything to lay their hands on. Mm -hmm. We had teachers who could not, I told you that time, who could not even form simple WhatsApp groups yeah. on their phones. Mm -hmm. So the laptop is um, an initiative in the right direction. My only problem is that mm -hmm. precedents have been set where laptops have been brought to school, the RLG and these laptops, everybody knows they were of poor quality. You're talking about you the RLG, public, right? The RLG followed mm. with the, is it the Dell that came yeah. after the big I think one? the most popular one has to be do with the RLG. Yes. Mm. You go to every school, and we have heaps of them. They have fault. It's not because of lack of culture of maintenance but because it was poorly manufactured, and if you want to repair it, you have to invest so much money into repairs, of mm -hmm. which the schools don't have. So that precedence that has been set is making it difficult for people to accept government procuring laptops for a huge number that we are talking about here. I have taken a look at the specs of the laptop. I have showed it to experts in the field, and they tell you that, see, Celeron um, laptops are lower versions of Intel. Mm -hmm. It could be good, looking at the price they are giving it out, mm -hmm. it could be good provided it be uh, produced directly by a known company. If it is Toshiba, mm -hmm. it should be given to Toshiba. This is a huge contract. Mm -hmm. This is something big. Teachers are many. So if it is going to be given to a recognized uh, company. company, if it oh, is Toshiba, okay. it's coming straight or is being produced straight from Toshiba, if it is Dell or whatever, it's coming straight from them. Mm -hmm. Then the specs and everything stated there is perfect. Okay, okay. But okay. if these laptops are going to be given as contract to somebody in China mm -hmm. to produce mm -hmm. low quality, uh, defective products because it is mass production. They come and some are good, some are not good. You are looking for parts to buy and you are not getting. Those are the challenges we foresee coming. So I, I want to appeal to all those who are at the forefront of this project mm. to make sure that we are not investing in something that will become a white elephant in our okay. homes later. Okay. We should also not uh, try and make it look like we are just looking for some computers to perform basic 
computing skills and all that. We should be looking at the future. Mr. Musa said something that if we are given education today, we should look at the impact it will make in years to come. So you don't give me a laptop that after two, three years, there are some functions that are coming. I can't even download onto those laptops. We should look at the future and come up with something of high quality, something that is durable, can last for a long time, mm -hmm. and it can be useful in the coming years. Not yeah. something like a, 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 a toy for kids mm -hmm. or something you can only play or put lesson notes or something sure. on. Sure. It's, I am sad because I went to the university to study, and one of the courses that has to do with IT, and I won't mention the university. In the public university, I we know were the taught Microsoft 2003. Mm -hmm. Word 2003. Those were the things we were learning. And up to today, ICT in business school, they are supposed to learn Microsoft 2007, Windows mm -hmm. 7. Mm -hmm. The machines available are not even in Windows 7. The okay. ones the children are familiar with, when they go to the cafe and all that, 2007 is far gone. Mm -hmm. the, the windows and everything has changed. Meanwhile, they are being examined on 2007. They are, they are, they are supposed to uh, learn steps and processes that are familiar with the 2007 version. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, the Dell machines they even brought recently, the bigger ones, they are even in 2013. Okay. So you see that once you want to, you have to change, you have to go and download a new Windows. Mm -hmm. I'm saying all these things because these are the practical issues on the ground. Teachers are only becoming anxious about this 30% and all that because they don't trust the, the system. system. All right. Let, we, let, let, me, let me come to divine. That. Hello? Yeah. Uh, let, divine. Uh, yes, let me conclude. Yeah, okay. I'll, 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 yeah, I'm here. Yeah, Divine, can you hear right, me? All um, right, I also want to talk about it. Yeah, I can hear you. Can you also hear me? Yes, I can hear you. I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. I can hear you. All right, okay. Um, About the SIC policy, mm -hmm. I believe it's good. Okay. Because even our... Unions, when they want to negotiate with our service, mm -hmm. our employer, they talk about the fact that the service may institute a supplementary health insurance scheme okay. for the teaching personnel. And I believe that is just by so already we are seeing a fulfillment of part of the collective agreement by way of the SIC policy. Mm -hmm. What happened was uh, in, in policy, there should be a, a channel for communication. Okay. It's very important in uh, policy implementation. Mm -hmm. So they had the communication role initially. Okay. Um, that actually caused a bit of misunderstanding and a number of teachers wanted to exit. Again, it tells you that, look, when you just wake up and you feel you can get that amount from teachers, any amount from teachers' money without recourse to them, it tells you again that how, how the society already or everybody perceives us. I'm not sure they'll just stand and just desire money from any professional's money. Mm. So there should be a way of doing this so that we are all on board. And I'm not sure if this good number of teachers would have existed mm. if they were to have started on a good note. I understand from uh, initially about 40,000 teachers uh, opted out at the start. I don't know how many are on it. I am I am on it and I will encourage my police teachers to be part of it. Okay. So going forward, going forward, I will encourage that when issues have to come, the communication should be okay and the teachers should be involved in known before any action will be taken. All right. Yes, a cordial risk a um, very important issue about the ICT, mm. uh, the machines, the laptop. So yes, we're talking about the the machines that they are bringing, how best will it last in the classroom or All with right. the teachers? That's the quality. And how are we, yeah, the quality. Okay. How, how are well are we also going to equip the teachers to use them so that we will not give it to them and to just deal with them. Mm -hmm. So our continual professional development, we all have to see how best we equip the teachers okay. on how to go about this uh, usage of the machines so that the machines will achieve their intended purpose, will not just have it and then do not know what to do with it. Some will just be playing game or play, watching movies or playing music with it. But right. we see how best we can integrate this laptop into our teaching and learning process. It also comes to the fact that there are other architecture of ICT that we need to build, aside the fact that you are giving a laptop to the teacher. Is the, the, the school the teacher is going to use the machine mm -hmm. is also connected to the national grid. 
so that if the teacher will have to project or something, we have other supplements okay. and they, they could be a projector. And then also, we all this will have, and then the students at home, how do we ensure that we help the whole ICT infrastructure so that even the teacher is at home can continue to engage the child virtually? Okay. So it, we, we may be addressing the end need of the teacher, but holistically, we need to look at the home need of the child as well. And mm -hmm. this cost of data will always come to talk up, come for discussion. The cost of data will always come for discussion. Okay. If we want the ICT integration of into our classrooms, then we need to look at the cost of uh, data as well. Mm. It's very, very important. Oh. Well, we need to have a zero-rated site that teachers can have access to their content. All of them are very important. All right. and, and indeed, your topic is a loaded one that has not offered that opportunity to talk about some major things. I believe subsequently you'll be able to take it in body. But in, in, in conclusion, I'll say that uh, overall about the teaching profession, the status, uh, we have seen we are seeing some improvement. I believe that the changes, the mm. policies that are coming, these are all changes that are very try best to okay. raise the teaching profession by way of the fact that if we look at it, the entry point now how teachers are trained, it's changing tremendously. Mm. The things that the students are learning in the colleges of education is, is a plus. The credit hours has increased. Now, previously, we used two, hour, uh, two years to mm. study and then one year for and our teaching, teaching practice. Yeah. That doesn't give us enough time to master the content okay. and then to the methodology very well. But this time, with the credit hours because of the degree, it's very important. Also, the fact that teachers are being upgraded to degree status by running short courses. Mm. These are all means by which their status are also being upgraded. We are also looking at the professional development com uh, 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 community. Now, this is why it's also important because one of the reasons why society may disregard teachers or may not put premium on teachers is that maybe the skills that a teacher is displaying and then the students are not doing well in school. Mm -hmm. So if you have professional development community that help teachers to continue to learn, some teachers they complete school, they have not been open any book before to read to upgrade mm -hmm. their skills or whatsoever. So the community is going to help teachers to be updated with things happening in their field. And then also, they what they are learning. So once they are able to do and they are masters in the class and they prove their, their image is well, they stand in before the student, they are able to deliver with skills and then with the content knowledge. And the student begin to do well. Society will also begin to put more premium on us. I also believe the licensure is also in the direction to boost the teachers' uh, profession. And as well as the now the regulators we have in the industry, it's going to streamline a lot of things with the uh, National Teaching Council in place, and now we are having National Teacher Standard. Mm -hmm. All of these will affect some of the things we have. The number of untrained teachers in the uh, society or in our schools are reducing tremendously. You know, one of the reasons why people believe that uh, teaching may not be uh, an ideal thing is well, everybody can just wake up and say, I'm a teacher, yeah. secondary school teachers. Or, uh, so we have done over the years to reduce the number of untrained teachers in our system. Once we have been able to achieve that very well, and then those that will be teaching will be the very licensed one. I believe going forward, we may not see the results immediately, but in future, these results will be yielding fruit. And I foresee a profession that uh, is having a good uh, footing at the moment. And in the future, uh, our status and whatever will also increase. It may not only be about the salary, the, the environment that will also teach. Once all these dynamics come to play, I okay. believe the overall right. the teaching fraternity will be something that we can all be proud of. Thank you very of much, Divine. Uh, let me conclude on the uh, GS Alice. SIC. Uh, yeah, Ellis, thank you very much. Um, I am happy to hear that um, teachers are being given laptops to for their personal use and at the same time to improve on their knowledge of ICT mm. and to teach our kids. It's, 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 it's a step in the right direction. Okay. And I am happy to hear that. Um, I also want to say that um, now that we are in hard times mm. or not in normal times where we want to do away with a um, meeting of people, mm -hmm. we have already given uh, a website where you can go and you can also go to our website now that we have a laptop available we can go and if we have any questions we can put our questions across mm. and we'll be glad to give you answers and then i believe that um, it will be good for all of us to have this package in place and to give all of us the peace of mind to go about our work as teachers 
wherever we find ourselves. So that is what I have to say. Thank you. All right, thank you. I want, let me say a big thank you to all my panelists. Uh, it's been a great morning. Um, Thomas needs to rush for another meeting, um, I think, so he couldn't conclude with us. But it's been very fruitful. Uh, we, we shall look at a day to interpret the collective agreement. Uh, I'm sure when the day comes, each and every teacher will take pen and paper to understand the interpretation of the collective agreement. And today, let me say thank you very much for coming through. Um, Claudia, thank you very much. Um, Divine, thank you. And then uh, David, thank you very, very much. Thank for you for coming through. It's been nice being on this program. Mm -hmm. Thank, thank you, you for much. having us. Sure. And it's been a great morning. Thank you very much to the sports crew. Give me some few minutes of their time. Let me say a big thank you to everybody who listen. Uh, the GSPR should have been part, but she has an emergency. She needs to rush. Oh, all those who send messages, uh, over 200 messages. Uh, and I wasn't able to read all. I'm so, so sorry. Alba, Alba, Alba. Let me say a big thank you to my producers. Uh, show brought to you by Summer Hill Estate. Uh, Sparrow Security. Hey, it's been a great morning. The sports crew getting ready. Baba Shaw. Baba Shaw. Thank you to my producer. Coach Petras Ali. Good morning, wherever you are. I'm a one producer. I'm a one producer.